Hello, Christian Anarchist here. In this next anime parable, I want to cover a theme rather than just a complete parallel of a story. And note, this episode will contain spoilers to the story, so you've been warned. One of my favorite animes that I have in my list thereof is known as Helsing Ultimate. Not only did it stick to the original story of the manga, but it was rich in artistic detail, and the voice acting of the English dub was absolutely killer, especially for Crispin Freeman as Alucard. Anyways, throughout the story, Alucard clashes with a Roman Catholic priest slash vampire hunter for the Vatican, named Alexander Anderson. These two were in a rivalry with each other because while Anderson wants to kill Alucard in order to bring glory to God and please him, Alucard enjoys that he finally has a worthy foe to fight against, especially one who could actually be able to kill him because he was considered immortal for a while. During their last fight scene, Anderson reveals he has something that could finally kill Alucard, an artifact known as Helena's Nail. I'm not going to get into the context of what's behind this, but point is that Anderson plans to use this to become non-human, to become a monster of God, to kill Alucard. Alucard protests as a result and says that only a human is able to kill him, but you also hear the sympathy that he doesn't want Anderson to become a monster like Alucard. This causes the priest to reveal that he does not care about what kind of being that he becomes, but rather he cares about what purpose he serves to God. His desired purpose was to be a divine weapon for God to use, and this reveals that Anderson is trapped in the thought of pleasing God in some deep service, and that he was willing to violate his own humanity as a result. After the battle, Alucard ultimately kills Anderson. Once there, Alucard yells at him, being angry, and in the end of his rant, you could tell he was sad. He was sad that Anderson chose to give up his humanity for the sake of killing a vampire in what was already considered a very equal fight and rivalry. After Alucard calls himself a monster and is caught crying, Anderson tells him to cheer up because monsters don't cry. This could be interpreted in a couple of ways, but my view is that after Anderson sees Alucard behaving like this, Anderson no longer sees him as a monster or really much of a threat. But, then again, that's just my interpretation. Afterwards, Anderson is told he would see Alucard in hell as a jester that they both seem to still somehow be monsters in the end who could not be saved. But Anderson soon sees visions of the children he cared for, which seem to indicate he's seeing heaven and he is in joy in salvation. So knowing this, what element does this have besides Alucard and Anderson being the new Protestant versus Catholic fight? Hashtag Protestant Alucard! But seriously, one element I notice is that Anderson is caught in a very bad form of legalism, where he thinks he must be a weapon of God in order to please and serve the Almighty. This is usually the work of Pharisees and is definitely seen in certain Roman Catholics. While Anderson does this, he finds his new target in his purpose is ultimately his new devotion. He really wants nothing more than to kill Alucard. And he was willing to become a monster, and to die a monster to do so. Alucard told him not to do so because that would be Anderson's only chance to kill Alucard. I think the other reason why is because Anderson was one person that Alucard secretly didn't want to die. He really found something interesting in Anderson that made him a unique human being. But he knew if he let his ideology get to him, it would be the end of Anderson. Why? Matthew chapter 26 verse 52 is when Jesus says that those who live by the sword will die by the sword. If violence is the only solution you have in fixing your problems or in serving somebody, you will ultimately die by violence in the end. 
And nobody understood this life better than Alucard, who was pretty much revealed to be Vlad the Impaler during his origin story. And Alucard didn't want Anderson to go down that route that he himself had been through. But even during his defeat, he gestures more with the vampire, and while accepting he could be on his way to hell, he's then shocked to see what I believe is a sign that he is going to heaven, proving his works and falls have no effect on his salvation, and, and that it took death to make him realize this. So ultimately the moral is not to live your life by violence or war. It will ultimately lead to the same thing to devour your life emotionally or kill you in the end. This can say, this same thing that applied concerning Jesus to Peter, the same thing that was applied for the Alucard to Anderson, can be the same thing that is applied to you. This has been the Christian Anarchist. Have a great day.